Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to create directed and undirected graphs. To create such scientific figures or graphs, I prefer to use three web-based tools and these are draw.io that is diagrams.net or matcha.io and the number third is takes environment in LaTeX. In this video, I will use draw.io to create undirected graph as shown in the figure. So let's visit draw.io and have some basic information about this. A complete dashboard is visible to you. So first of all, let's visit the menu. In the menu bar, you have the file and you can open some new files and export and import options. In editing, you have some copy images and select the vertices or edges, etc. There is a panel available on the left side with all the basic or the advanced shapes that are used to create flowcharts, diagrams or any other figure you want to have in your manuscript or an research article on the right hand side the panel available will tell you the options of the canvas so first of all you can select the paper size the grid or paper view and you can uh, on and off these options unchecking or checking the uh, such options Whenever you draw a basic shape on the canvas, let's say I will draw a circle, uh, there are options available on the right pan related to this shape. For example, the style, what is the color of this shape and the fill and the line color, opacity, uh, would you like to include some text to it? So in order to create an undirected graph, first of all you need to create some uh, circles and for this i will create a circle like this and i will uh, hold a control uh, control button on the keyboard to equally uh, increase or decrease on the both sides so i will select let's say is a 60 by 60 in dimension that is 60 point by 60 point first of all i will make it uh, no fill by unchecking this button so i will create some duplicate of this circle press ctrl d to duplicate this shape I will, I will try to uh, replicate this as it is. So uh, I will put uh, C here and uh, C like in the bottom. Okay. So G in the middle, control D again. And here is G. And now I will place F, E and D nodes. So I will create three duplicates again. So here it is F. Control D, this is uh, E and this is D. Okay, this is Control D, so I will put here. So these are the nodes that I want to connect with each other. So, uh, first of all, uh, when you need to connect these uh, node or these shape with any other, you can choose the line tool but there is a very con convenient way in draw.io that before selecting any figure let's move your mouse to the shape and you will see some green uh, buttons appear on the shape so i want to create a line shape from this to the other node available and i will choose this way so as you can see that this is a, an arrow diagram so first of all I would like to change uh, this to a simple uh, simple shape by moving it like unpointed and I will say no so first of all I will connect this with uh, here okay uh, this way okay now i will uh, remove the nodes between these so i will um, make the connector is as simple as i want 
so the second shape i will draw from this to this here i will connect this now i would like to connect these two i will connect these two uh, i will connect this from here now i would like to connect this one and moving forward and but this way i created a directed uh, so this way i will i so by this way i created an undirected graph you can choose the nodes or any other thing you want to add in your graph by simply uh, placing the mouse over the shape so uh, i will double click on the canvas and i will got a text button and here i can add the names let's say the nodes name that is a b c and d so i will place here it is and then there is a very nice alignment uh, available uh, within the shape so i will place a here now i will copy this and move to this shape again and i will write b here so by moving all these i will create all the other shapes The default format in which draw.io will save your file is XML. So here are many options available uh, to store your file in. Let's say you can save your file in Google Drive by linking it with your Google Drive or maybe in OneDrive, the Dropbox, the GitHub or maybe locally in your computer. So first of all, I will uh, create a name, let's say. Uh, try and I will download it to my PC and save it in my device by typing the name again so on the desktop I will save it as try now I would like to save or export this diagrams and there are many options available like PNG JPG SVG or PDF so I would like to have in uh, let's say PNG so there is open a uh, dialog box and it will ask me about the different options I will simply click on the export button and it will ask me where to save your PNG file I will again say to my uh, PC and it will download a PNG file to my computer so if you want so if you want to change the uh, undirected graph to a directed graph you can simply uh, click on this option and uh, select the arrow heads let's say i will select the arrow head uh, by clicking on this button and it will create an arrow uh, to the right side of the line and let's say i will uh, change this to as like uh, this one and let's say i will change the line style by clicking on this by right this one so uh, i will create an undirected graph to a directed graph by simply uh, changing uh, line style to an arrows Thank you so much. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you like that one.